All right, hello everyone. Welcome to what has been a long time since our last stream. This is the tenth stream for Sunnyside. Um, yeah, hello everyone. Welcome. Uh, this time I have Fem with me, our uh, project manager slash producer at this point. And uh, yeah, if you want to say hi. Oh, hello everybody. There There's a lot to cover. We've been so busy. I thought, <laughs> I thought I could finish this demo with so much features and stuff in it in like a week. Turned out that one week <laughs> was actually four. It's actually pretty robust. We've been debugging for the past um, two weeks. Two weeks, yeah, yeah. As we've been going through so many weird bugs, like there was this certain bug <laughs> that if you had a certain <laughs> hairstyles, the NPCs didn't load. So they just, I guess, they just didn't like your hairstyle. So <laughs> he didn't, he didn't believe us. We were telling him, like, hey, if if I if I load into the game after character creator and I have this hairstyle, the NPCs don't work anymore. And he's like, no, that's not possible. And so me and another one of the QA, we went through and we tested all the hairstyles and there were two hairstyles where for some reason, it just, the NPCs decided that they didn't want to load anymore. And so we tried every iteration of it. I and mean, it... <laughs> what's the correlation? <laughs> uh, so first of all, I wanted to mention that we have uh, a few lovely social accounts, Twitter, uh, Instagram, TikTok, and of course Discord, as you guys know. Following our socials is important, not just because like likes and all that stuff, but the more that you guys engage with our social media, the more it gets picked up by the algorithm and the wider our spread can be. So if even if you just like things occasionally or, you know, scroll things, and watch videos on TikTok, it really helps us get picked up, which is the struggle, especially on TikTok. So we appreciate it if you can just interact that'd be awesome yes thank you thank you in advance for doing that uh next thing to talk about is some lore stuff so as you know as much as we work on the gameplay to make the game fun engaging lots of features and immersive at the core and what makes sunnyside different to all these other farming games that are coming out soon is the story we're trying to tell a very deep story a very engaging story something that you would remember uh characters that you would remember so at the heart of Sunnyside, what is the most important aspect is the story. So I'm glad to tell you guys that most of uh, the outlining of the story is actually done. We've written pretty much everybody. Um, what the characters are going to be, obviously we haven't written dialogue much. Uh, but all the skeleton for their events, what we call them harmony quests, we'll get into that in the future streams. But um, basically the skeleton of these quests are written all these character development aspects of them they're all written so we have a full cast ready to go uh for you guys big thanks to big shout out to uh fem and uh, kitty on our team for handling the writing because that was uh, you know i know i can program i know i can model uh to a degree uh, I know I can design UI, maybe that's the, the, the only thing I'm good at. Anyway, uh, but I was always scared of writing stories, especially engaging ones. So as soon as um, we had the people joining the team for the writing, uh, it's been it's been a lot more smooth sailing. So a uh, big shout out to them for the great work that they've been doing. So I think I have teased you guys enough with this uh, screen. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're not in Unreal Engine anymore. This is the game. So... Let's press start. <clears throat> all right, so here we are. Uh, first of all, we have our character creator. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's it's prototype still, so it's not fully done yet. Um, but on the right side here, we have uh, a few hairstyles and the rest of the stuff that we can put on our character. For the demo, we only have the feminine body type. Uh, so this colorway, we have a primary color and a secondary color. If I choose one of these hairstyles, so for example, let's go with that one. I think this one's my favorite. So let's go for a kind of a light pink. So like that, kind of a pastel pink. My girlfriend would be very proud of me for this color choice. <laughs> and uh, on the primary color section, which by primary, I mean the roots basically. So this would be the, the ends of the hair and this would be the roots. Uh, we'll go for something more blue and you can't see it yet because I haven't actually added any amount of the mix in there. So let's uh, adjust this a bit. And here you go. You start to see the colors kind of mixed together. We have the blue coming from the roots downwards. And yeah, you can really mix it up if you want but right there is a, a pretty nice looking mix. 
It looks very bubblegum. Bubblegummy, yeah. yeah. I think so. <laughs> and yeah, you can change it to whatever arrangement of colors you like. But I personally really like the pink and blue. Like that. And uh, yeah, we can we can have a look at the other hairstyles with the same color. There you go. They all just load in as easy like that. And just in case anybody is weird like me and you like natural hair colors, they are still achievable. You just have to go into the like orange, red, brown range let's, let's, and you I can mean, start playing yeah. with blondes and reds and browns and stuff like that. So We'll do it now. There you go. Is that is that natural enough? It's pretty natural. <laughs> Uh, right, yeah, tops. So we have a few options for the tops as well. I'm gonna remove the coat and I'm gonna just choose these shorts. <laughs> Let's also change the color of the top to <laughs> something like like bluish, maybe. Yeah, you can also adjust the color of the shoes and everything. But I like to go with these. I just really like these boots with their kind of yeah, leathery I like the boots color. Too. Yeah, I mean, I think we're ready. And Asuka Ishikawa is fine. That's I, I like that name. <laughs> right, I just kept her normal clothes on and it's just fine. It doesn't matter. Some of these um, stuff you've seen before, mechanic-wise. Uh, but we're still going to go through some of them so that you guys can see how they all work. So first of all, um, to give you guys a nice view, we have the, uh, the whole farm here. We have a top section here and a section below, down there. And this section will be open to you. Uh, once you clear it out basically But you own it to begin with and we really like this Approach to having two levels of the farm so that you can kind of categorize things It also is pretty realistic for how Japan's farms are laid out uh, so yeah and um, Over here we have a tent because of course you don't start with a house uh, so the council the town's council gave you a tent so here's your starter tent. If you go inside, you have a little bed that you can sleep in. But we can we can do a lot better than just a tent. So for that, we need to make some money. So let's go ahead and dig, as you do in every farming game. So I'm gonna dig a few crop uh, plots down here. Nothing too crazy. Just um, like maybe five or six. I'll go for six. And we'll probably also plant a tree just for the hell of it. But they take a long time to grow. Yes. So to answer uh, Squeaking Lion, he asks if there isn't going to be a bunch of politics or anything in this game. No, the reason we have the town council is because we wanted the story to make sense. So we had to, we wanted to find a reason that you would be in a town in Japan that only has 40 people. We wanted to have a reason that you would be given this land on auction. We wanted reasons for different um, uh, conflicts to happen between PCs. So that was one of the reasons we made the town council is because they have an initiative to bring people to the town. There's pretty much going to be lore backing up every single decision that we make as far as writing goes. Right, so as you guys just exactly. saw, um, we have a hand pump as you guys seen in the previous streams but basically your farm has two main resources that you need to keep track of uh one is not it's kind of optional but it will be super necessary as you progress through the game and you have a bigger farm and uh, one is electricity and the other one is water so you start out with this hand pump water and we don't have an animation for it yet so the character just kind of stands there but we will get there uh, and the water amount is going up and it's basically filling up this water tank that I have over here Which is connected to the water hose Which I can go ahead and water these if I want to and you guys have seen this before it has a cool Making the ground look wet effect. So let's just go ahead and buy some <laughs> seeds to plant Now normally you would go ahead and buy seeds from town but Sunnyside funny enough doesn't have many farms in it so nobody's in town actually sell seats specifically you know it's always been weird to me that you know in farming games pretty much you're the only farmer and there's a shop that exclusively sells seats so uh instead of that we have an app and if you open the phone it's called sunny seed i know very creative uh we open it up and uh i'm gonna buy some we have an offer for potatoes 
So let's buy nine potatoes. I add that to my cart. And let's go for some carrots as well. Yep, nine is fine. Are you sure? Do you have uh, enough money? I have enough money. I mean, next day delivery is pretty expensive. <laughs> We've been giving him crap hmm. because we started out the game when we first started doing um, <laughs> the QA. We had like ten thousand dollars, and now it's like two hundred and fifty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, we get next day delivery just for the sake of the stream, so that you guys don't have to wait. So next day delivery. Let's confirm this. So this will take some time. This will take a day to arrive, of course. Next day delivery, and while that arrives. Um, I really don't like the tent, so let's try to build a house for ourselves. And you guys have seen this sort of before, we call it build mode. And if you remember, we gave you guys the building blocks before. This time we kind of went for pre-built houses because one is that they can be way prettier. Uh, there's a lot more control over them from our side. And they were just much easier to push for a demo. So uh, if you open build mode, it goes to our drone that we get from Hero in game. And uh, this drone currently only has the build mode. Further down the line, we're going to add the photo mode so you can use the drone as a camera to go around and take nice shots of the of the beautiful island. I'm actually gonna go up a little bit. Um, yeah, you can, you can use it as a uh, photo mode situation. Or you can look in the distance and place markers, kind of Zelda-like, so that if you wanna go somewhere, you know exactly how to get there. But for now, we're just gonna use the build mode section of, uh, of our drone. So let's go down. <coughs> and I'm gonna grab this house, this small house. And I like to put it in this corner. But we place this down and this is the plan for this house. And this is nothing revolutionary. I know many games have done it like this, especially survival games, but it works really well um, with gameplay and realism at the same time. Uh, to make some of the stuff for the house, we're going to need a crafting table, so let's also put a crafting table right next to the house so that we can make some of the stuff for it. And we have a bunch more stuff, which we will get to, but for now, I really was want to also put a bed in there so that I can sleep. So everything is set up for me, pretty much. Uh, you have an option to go on a grid. Uh, if you press R, you can go on a 64 grid, 32 grid, or 128 grid. Um, or you can also destroy things. You can destroy the plans that you have already put down. If you've deposited items into it, you will get those back. Uh, but for now, we don't need any of that. Before I close this menu though, I also wanna get some chickens. So let's go ahead and make a small chicken coop. You don't have to have a chicken coop. You can actually just make the chicken beds and get the chickens, but chickens will check for shelter. And if they don't have shelter, they won't be very happy and they might not grow so quick or they might not lay eggs for you. So I'm gonna make the coop and then we're gonna put just three for now. You can put a lot more in there, but just three. And a trough for them, like a chicken feeder situation, so they can eat. And let's close the drone. Right, so I have a house over here, which if you go close to, these are all the stuff I need for the house. I need hardwood, wood, plywood, iron nuggets, bolt, glass, sand bucket. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that we need. And um, one thing that I wanted to mention uh, that really annoys me, and that is an app to track the stuff. So imagine if you want to build the house and you leave the farm and you're not sure what you need to finish building that house, we're going to add an app, a tracker app that will show exactly what you need. You can pin all the items that you need for something and then that will keep track of it for you when you go through shops or when you go out just foraging and stuff. But I'm pretty sure I can build this crafting table. It only needs some wood. So uh, I'll choose the wood, deposit the items and I have a crafting table. And this dude needs bolts, which I need to craft and plywood. So let's go on our crafting table. And you guys have seen this before. Plywood is right there. I need wood, but I also need hardwood, which I don't have. So let's go and try to get some hardwood. It's really dark now. Are we going to have options to speed up or slow down gameplay time? Um, we're actually thinking time about that because dilation. we don't know how that might affect... Um, wait, are you talking about time dilation or just how long it will take for time to pass? 
because those are two very different things. If it is time dilation, like a sim situation or like a um, like a city building game situation, it's definitely something we can think about. How long is each day currently? It's um, it's about 15 minutes. Or if I'm no, actually currently it's 12 minutes every day. But in the in the final game, we're thinking of 15 minutes. We think that's a good balance. Uh, to go with 15 minutes uh, also yeah you guys might be wondering what this is this is just a shed that we're gonna put stuff in eventually i could have put that crafting table in there that would have been a good idea that's what fem does all the time <laughs> right so i got enough hardwood to make that plywood so let's go ahead and make some plywood yeah we're um back to the the time of day thing um right now it's 6 a.m to midnight we're looking to extend it probably 6 a.m. to 2 and then I think it was yeah like you said 12 to 15 minutes per day in real time uh, right I, w I was gonna go to town uh, but we're gonna have to leave that for tomorrow so for now I'm just gonna go to bed so that we get those deliveries and so we can get get on making some money so let's just go to bed <laughs> phone charms we, we've actually talked about that um we do want to have a lot of cell phone customization so you will be able to change the case color you'll be able to change the background photo so if you want to take photos in game and then apply them to um, the background on the phone that'll be an option and then a lot of people have been asking for phone charms so <laughs> i guess yeah rainy <laughs> Yeah, no, phone, charm, phone charms, definitely. I mean, look at this nice 3D model of a phone. Why wouldn't you want a charm dangling at the end of it? It's perfect. <laughs> sounds, sounds perfect. All right, I can't get out. Who made this game? <laughs> right. uh, what happens when you run out of day is you will um, pass out and wake up at home. And uh, I think we've decided no side effects because um, that's mean. Well, I don't remember. When we actually implement the stamina system, we're gonna we're gonna think about it. But um, oh, that's right, yeah, stamina will be influenced a little bit. Yeah, and somebody asked uh, because my sister gets anxiety when games like this because she feels like she doesn't have time to enjoy the day. Very good point. Um, yeah, so relaxation is a pretty important part. Like immersive story, definitely. But you know, this game was started to just be like a relaxing sort of game. So we won't really impose anxiety on you story anxiety possibly but not time time constraints <laughs> uh right i just got a text message from sunny seed and they say hey, this is your courier your parcel has been delivered to your door we hope you enjoy your quality seats hope to see you again lovely thank you sunny seed and uh yeah there it is i got the package from amazon i mean sunny seed uh delivered to my door <laughs> And I got nine potatoes, I got nine carrots. Let's go ahead and plant those. <laughs> okay. So this isn't too hard, you just go ahead and plant them. Uh, post stream, we're gonna share some photos with you guys of some crazy farms that Destiny and uh, Kitty, and I think Fem as well, made. Huge farms with so much stuff planted in them. Right, those are planted. Now let's go ahead and water them. I have no water. That's a lie. There we oh. go. <laughs> and yeah, it does that into you. Yeah, it doesn't refresh. And there we go. The hose is pretty powerful, pretty OP right now, so you can water them pretty quickly. But you know, it's a watering hose. <sighs> watering cans <laughs> are so 1995, so uh, water hose is the way to go. <laughs> Uh, before I can make my bed, I need to buy some um, fiber, or not fiber, actually, we call it cloth, uh, in the game. So, um, and also, to make these chicken beds, I need some hay. So, I better go to town and uh, and buy those. So, let's have a look at the town of Sunnyside. So, I'm just going to go down this path. Or, let's take the scenic route, actually. Oh, yeah. The scenic route is scenic. Don't worry about those flashes, by the way. It's just a bug on my computer. You're doing what I do, and you bounce off the trees. <laughs> yeah. Did that bird just flew into the... Great, yep. great bird, bird AI. <laughs> <laughs> right. You can see some cows in the distance. That is actually Gabe's farm. He is the... Is he, is he the only um, other farmer in, in the town? 
I think uh, he is. Well, he's not a farmer. Well, he's he owns a, a barn. He owns a barn, yeah, he's not a farmer. Um, we might have a couple other farmers, but if we do, they won't really be interactable. Okay. But yeah, this is Gabe's barn, and I've just kind of give it a quick disclaimer. We don't actually decorate it, and we haven't decorated any of the buildings yet, so inside they'll be pretty empty. But Gabe is still there, so that's good enough for me. And uh, here is my man, Gabriel. Uh, all the dialogue currently is also placeholder, so we're going to rewrite them. Uh, but you can ask him, what do you sell? He sells farms, animals, and all supplies. And um, he sells too many farms outside of Sunnyside. And it's good business, What, whatever. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we got to buy some hay from him. And I, I made three chicken beds, so let's buy... I think it needs two hay per chicken bed, so I'm going to yes. buy six. Um... Let's buy some chicken food as well, just to be sure. That This is getting expensive really quickly. You're going to run out of money. Ah, oh, Gabe. We're going to hit the mine soon to make some money <laughs> with those gemstones. Because I have... sell all your rocks. I could sell my rocks. Okay, fine. <laughs> so, there's a sell menu. Uh, most of the vendors have it. So, we decided to not go with the... Uh, traditional box that you deposit your items in, you can directly sell to the, to the vendors in town. But there will be so many other methods of selling. Selling is going to be a huge part of the game, and we have a few methods uh, m starting with the game, mid game, and end game situations so that you can make a lot of profit on them. Some of them are good for wholesale, some of them are good for single item sell. Uh, much more info on this to come out, but I'm really excited to implement them. But just to give you guys a little bit of a teaser, one of them will include running your own shop. So yeah, let's sell all this stone to him. One for each, I mean, I have a hundred of it, so a hundred is not too bad. hundred dollars for rocks, it's pretty good. Yeah, I gotta have 210 cupels. Perfect. <gasps> Brainy, what's a cupule? Cupule is our currency in the game, and actually is the name of the top bit of an acorn. You might be wondering why. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. <laughs> right. Let's just go to the town. This is the bridge that connects the other side of the island. Or what's it called? When it's not an island. A um, uh, Pola? peninsula. Yes, that one. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see over here, we have the Sunnyside Beach, Old Caves, Riverside Barn, and Old Farm all over here. But then the town is on this side. So uh, Tech Hero is um, Hero's Shop. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's go inside. Hero sells mostly tech stuff, but he also sells apps to you. Some of them are free. Most of them are free right now. But w the reason he sells them itself, uh, himself is because um, he makes the apps himself, but then he doesn't like to put it in the, in the store, in the app store, because he hates app store apps because they're filled with ads. And he makes actually useful apps, so he sells them directly to you himself. And uh, the only thing I don't have right now is the weather app, so let's go ahead and install that. Nice. And I could buy these from him, but mm, no, I don't need it. Thank you, hero. Well, you're gonna need some plastic, I think, right? Uh, that's fine. Let's go see Sako. So this is the other shop that we have. It's called the Oak Tree, Oak Tree. Groceries. That's actually what that means at the top. Oh. Oh, come on. She just closed the shop. <laughs> Sucko. Oh. God damn it. How are you? Guess you're going to come back tomorrow. Guess I'll have I told to you come 4 o'clock was too early. Yeah. <laughs> but she's got to go to her seaside view thingy. Go show them the park. I mean, yeah, okay. So yeah, we have a we have a little park. This is this is again placeholder. We're gonna definitely change this because we want the park to be a lot more Japanesey. I mean, it is kind of Japanesey right now, but you know, could we be want more, to be more garden. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the main area of the park. As you can see, here is just sitting down, chilling. And uh, Sako is going to what we currently call the Overlook, which just kind of overlooks the uh, the river. It's, a, it's it's not a bad view. It's quite nice. 
in fact, I can get the drone out, and you guys can have a better view. I'm gonna answer some questions while you do that. Go ahead. Um, the vending machine is not in this demo. Uh, could we have the shops open more than a few hours? Rainy and I have been going back and forth on this. Uh, I'm just gonna mention something before you answer some more questions. I just wanted to show you guys the town at night. I think it looks pretty nice with the lights on and everything, but yeah. carry on. Um, let's see. Uh, have some of the older villagers doing Tai Chi in the park. Um, we, not older villagers doing Tai Chi, we will have some of the younger villagers doing yoga. Um, because I think Tai Chi is Chinese? I could be wrong on that, please don't quote me. I have to go back and look. But yes, there will be activities in the park, so you'll see stuff happen. Yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, Chinese. Okay, cool, I was right. Nice. Uh, and yeah. 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 It gets dark at six, but then it like kind of lightens up as the moon comes out. So it's like. No, no. Somebody said it gets dark fast. It does get dark pretty fast. Um. Yeah. Where is Gabe? Let's just say hi to Gabe while we go back to our farm to sleep for the night. I think he's at his farm. Oh yeah, he's over there. What you doing, Gabe? Hey man, what's up? What you up to? He's just fixing it up his fences. Out. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of cows. There's a lot of cows. I need to sleep so that we can have those crops grown. We're gonna go to the mines tomorrow and make some money so that we can buy the stuff that we need. Yeah, no, my cat in real life is snoring and I thought my phone was vibrating. Bless him, the sleepy boy. So Rin, uh, I know y'all love Gabe, but uh, wait until you see some of the other characters. You <sighs> might be uh, changing camps. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. All right, uh, I can actually build these houses so we can have some chickens. Uh, hay, hay, wood, and then uh, just wood, wood, wood. We got those chicken beds ready. We need some iron nuggets and bolts for this one. So I think it's the t it's about time we hit the mines. So yeah, let's go to the mines. Actually, I need to water these before I go to the mines. So we have some carrots over here and some potato. I should remember that because I ordered them. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, if you want to ask some more questions while I go to the mines. Um, sorry, I was answering him in chat. Um, there are, I was telling Sweetie Lion, he said I require hot babes for waifu. Trust me, there are plenty. <laughs> yes, I made sure of that. Don't worry, my man. <laughs> there are plenty. <laughs> We're going to show you guys one actually today. Yep. She's my favorite. She, She's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, lantern for the mines. Um, shouldn't need. You light, have a phone, and think. that phone has flashlights. So yeah, yeah, you can just use your phone's flashlight. How many characters so far in game? So actually, put into the game as models, there are three. Um actually drawn there are six written there are 32 i think so yeah we we still have a little ways to go but the drawing part takes a lot longer than the writing part so and modeling takes the longest um, yeah <laughs> but yeah but let me pull up the spreadsheet because we have spreadsheets for literally everything so I can answer. over here, I'll just be mining so you guys can just watch that <laughs> while Fem answers more questions. And yes, I hate the mining animations too, but you know, support us so we can hire an animator, please. Back again, pre-ordered Sunnyside. So 
of those 30 some odd characters, uh, 24 of them are romanceable. Yeah, so you guys will have lots of options. A headlamp. <laughs> A headlamp's actually a cute idea, I like that. The mines are never that dark. You might get to areas that are dark, so you know, we might have to think about that, but currently because it's just the starter levels. Uh some more here. Makes twenty four saves. <laughs> 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 yeah, me and uh Kitty, the other writer, we've been lamenting over how many times we're gonna have to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that's why it's necessary to have a safe system that you can save at any time. So yep. right before that dialogue option to romance somebody, you can just you can just choose the other option. And uh, since you're running, do you want me to mention the uh, gender preference system at all? Absolutely, go for it. So yeah, you guys get ready for some revolutionary, uh, and I'm and I'm not joking this time, uh, social sim stuff for um, yep. preferences. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to go too into it because there are some ideas that we feel are going to be revolutionary enough that they might be stolen. So <laughs> I'm not going to go into it too much, but I will mention that um, we've been pretty adamant the whole time that all of the characters will have preferences for what gender they want to date. So, but we're making it a lot more complicated than just they like men or they like women um so we do we made very certain to make sure that we have an equal number of you could say straight characters we have an equal number of gay characters and then we also have a couple of characters that are completely bisexual so they will date anybody um so we have three characters that will date any gender and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve that will date men, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve that will date women. Some of the ones that will date women are also women. Some of the ones who will date men are also men. We have a female bisexual, a male bisexual, and we also have a male um, asexual character. So we're trying to hit the whole spectrum so that everybody who plays the game will have an equal number of romance possibilities. So how deep will the romance options go? Yeah, so there will be full storylines for dating. Um, so basically you have to finish out the harmony quest with the character first and get comfortable with them. There are a few characters who will date anybody anytime and you don't have to be friends with them because they don't care. And then there are other characters where you have to be friends with them first. So we kind of hit both ends on that. Um, once you finish the harmony quest, you have the option to, do I want to continue this relationship with them romantically or do we just stay friends? Once you make that decision, it basically is going to lock out other romance options for you and you're going to be with that character. If you want to break up with that character, you can do that and switch to somebody else, but there will be repercussions. So it's going to be realistic. Um, we will have conversation options with the person that you're dating. There will be places to go that are more romantic, absolutely. So we're gonna try to make it as realistic and playable as possible. We're gonna try to hit that balance. Well, as you guys can see, uh, as you deposit items into the build stuff, it'll slowly build itself. So because I put the wood in there, we have the foundation going on. Uh, I didn't fully put the plywood in there, so you can see it's kind of like f half made. Um, and I put the uh, irons and stuff in there for the bricks. So we have that covered as well. I was going to go to the shop, but they're still closed. Whoever put the times in this game, no, that was a terrible job. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use my cheats. Them, please. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna use a cheat which lets me completely build something right away. So I'm gonna finish building the coop. There we go. And I'm gonna finish building this trough, this chicken feeder as well, so that tomorrow we can buy some chickens actually from Gabe. So that is built. And it has started to rain. 
And I really want to show off how the graphics during rain, so let's go to town. Will there be weather damage? So, we actually thought a lot about this. We're still not sure. Uh, we kind of want to do it because it's interesting. And it makes you want to, like, you know, somehow shield against it. But we don't want it to be unfair. We don't want you to not, literally not have any way of defending it. And just, you know, a storm comes in and you, you're effed. Uh, so, we're, we're still thinking about how to implement it fully. Um, Instead of weather damage, there will be pest damage. So there are going to be wild animals in the game and different wild animals might have different impacts on your farm if you don't take the necessary precaution to keep that from happening. Oh, I left my drone in the farm. God damn it. <laughs> now I need to fly all the way back in this rain. Um, so, just Cirque is asking about, um, basically disabled characters. Um, kind of. We don't, we're not going to have anybody in a wheelchair. Uh, mostly because it's not that it's not realistic, but it's kind of the stereotypical go-to for like, oh, we want to be representative and put a disabled person, we'll just throw in a person with a wheelchair. It was common in the 90s to see on textbooks, there was always the kid in the wheelchair. Um, but we are going to have a character with a bionic hand. So, you know, we're trying. <laughs> yeah, the drone, it is it is its own entity. And you basically switch to it. And you, if you leave it in the farm, it'll just stay there. We're going to eventually add a battery sort of situation to it. Um, but it's still very much like it's just in my head I have we haven't even discussed in the team yet so currently you can just take it wherever uh, but yeah yeah I love I love characters with bionic hands I think they're neat absolutely neat yeah so kitty has joined us hot little boss she's our other writer Let's hang out with you guys in chat I'm gonna pick some mushrooms on the way back home I am gonna have that house built tomorrow. <laughs> you know what? I'm not sleeping in the tent tonight. I'm just gonna cheat and finish building the house, and I'm gonna sleep in the house tonight. Cheater. Build. And at my bed. Build. Sleep. Thank you. Comfortable bed. Nice to see those growing. Uh, right, let's go ahead. Oh, I don't need to water them. It's raining. Alright, perfect. Um, right, so today what we're going to do is buy some chickens and we're going to finally catch Sako and buy some stuff from her as well. But before that, uh, I know it's raining, but I'm going to build some electric water pumps because you, yeah, when you have electricity, why would you want to hand pump everything yourself? So I'm going to make a few more water tanks. I'm going to build one there, build one there. And I'm going to build these electric water pumps right next to it. And as the name suggests, it needs electricity. So we have a few ways of getting electricity in the game. Currently, we have the option of solar panels. We, we are actually adding a turbine, like a small turbine, a wind turbine as well. But for now, I'm just going to build these two next to each other. It's a cloudy day, so these are not going to generate as much power. So I want to make them... See, it's making two watts. It should be making six. Um... And yeah, they need some really difficult stuff. Those solar sheets are really difficult to make. But the fact that I'm cheating and making them right away is, yeah. <laughs> you guys are going to be mad at me when you get your hands on again. <laughs> I'm also going to destroy the tent because we have a house now. Go away. Thank you. So yeah, let's go ahead and buy some chickens from Gabe. hand her name is Blake she has already been designed so calm down 
<laughs> <laughs> and she she's gonna have a bionic hand, but honestly, it's not gonna be the most interesting thing about her character. There's a lot more stuff we don't want her to be. And that's kind of with all the characters. If any of them have anything that's deemed abnormal or different, it's not going to be the main part of their character. We want them to be interesting, fully fleshed out people and right, have sorry. this other thing. Chat, give me oh, a name yeah. for for the chick. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy three, so give me three names. Kenny, alright. <laughs> Nugget. Oh, Nugget is actually my favorite, so I'd definitely go for Nugget. I always name my chickens Nugget in these games. Okay, we have one left. Which one should we go for? <laughs> Waifu Zest. <laughs> alright, Zest it is. I don't have don't money have for money. Zest. Okay, no, don't worry, don't worry. I have a lot of gemstones to sell. I'm gonna be rich. Look at that. Broken economy? What do you mean? <laughs> right, let's buy Zest. Right, we bought three chickens. He's gonna deliver them tomorrow, so... That's all for him. And let's go to Salko's <laughs> shop, so you guys can finally see her menu that I designed. Um, I think also Cat might be... Um not be able to find her way so she's kind of getting stuck at our house so let's go try to help her and find her <laughs> so yeah this is Sako let's go to her shop again raining again hi Sako shop items this is her menu I actually don't need anything from her I just wanted you guys to see this but let's buy some charcoal just so that it won't be rude but I'm actually gonna buy like 50. 50 charcoal. I don't even know where she stores them. And, uh, oh, there's Cat. She found her way. Took you long enough. Hello, Cat. And that's all she says for now. She says hi. I mean, she's being polite. So, we're just going home. I'm just going to go to sleep so that we get our chickens because our crops are watered. I don't have anything else to do. I don't want to mine. So, yeah. There we go. And we're back up. Oh, the house is so cute. <laughs> I'll, I'll show did some you, more of the house, actually. Did you build a grill? No, I, I will after this. We also love the puddles. You know, Rainy, we should definitely have an animation to splash in puddles. Splash in puddles, yeah. Right, so we have these to water. So let's go ahead and water them. We got, oh, we got a message from Gabe. Let's see what he says. Gabriel, morning, just want to let you know that I delivered your chicks to the coop. They look, they look happy and healthy. Thank you very much. And I actually have an animal companion app that I can check them on. We have Kenny, Nugget, and Zest. They're fine. Uh, so that, that, that just means they're not hungry and they're one day old. Lovely. Aww. Let's go ahead and water these quick. And then I'll let them out to go and wander around. I just realized you didn't plant any trees. No. I, I will. Maybe. Oh, my carrots are ready. Let's get the carrots out. Uh oh. Yay. Carrots. Oh, good. <laughs> nice. I got loads of carrots. Potatoes are not ready yet. Right. We're going to finish building these. So that's one. And that's another. And I'm going to make the uh, electric water pumps. Nope. Don't turn on yet. I'm going to need to explain it first. So, as you guys can see, these water tanks are empty. You can use the hand water pump to kind of fill them up. But we're going to use the electric ones because we have the electricity from these solar panels, which are generating 4 watts per second right now. And I'm going to turn these on. And I know that's not electrically uh, correct. It's watts per hour. But it's a game. Leave it alone. And they're on. And they're generating water. And you can see that by looking at the amount of water going up in the water tanks. And if I actually grab the water hose as well, you guys can see the amount just going up in real time. Oh, look at them. 
They're really trying to get out that door, but what if I open this? Be free, chickens! They're a bit stupid. Come on, chickens! There they go. I'm gonna pet them quickly. Alright, Jesus Christ. They keep pushing me out of the way. And if you go inside, you can see that they actually have been eating some of the food. So if I select the food, I can fill this up. So they have more food. Why did that one just came back in? I think it just came back in, had some food and went out. That was Zest. He Thanks, wanted to say hi to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we could just let him roam around. Sometimes they like to leave the farm and go back to Gabe's <laughs> for some reason. Uh, that was funny that happened during a few of our uh, tests, but yeah. <laughs> I think the only thing that I need to show now is the the grill. Yep. Yeah. And trees. And and and, and trees. All right, let's just order some trees right now. Sunny seed. I get a cherry sapling, and I get a red apple sapling. There we go. I didn't know you could just order one. Yeah, just type in one. I feel, I feel lied to. <laughs> That's why I was a bit confused when you were saying that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna dig the plot now, so I don't have to do that tomorrow. Thanks very much. Okay, and uh, just to add to the chickens, they do grow. And once they turn into chickens, they will actually lay eggs for you. Uh, depending on if they're fed or not, the, 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 the past day, basically, the day before. Oh, any type of transport coming, like bicycles or cars or public transport. This is your favorite. Yeah, it is my favorite because we are actually adding bicycle. Uh, as a type of transport, like a vehicle you can get. Uh, you can also get a, a bike, like a Vespa-like bike. And you can also get one of those Japanese K-car sort of trucks uh, so that you can move things around. Because one of the aspects of the game is a limited inventory and one of the ways of selling your items is going to be taking those items to somebody that does the wholesale for you in town. So you would need to move these items in big quantity and having a truck to be able to move those to town is a very good idea so yeah k car yes exactly those yep <laughs> so uh rainy and i haven't actually talked about this yet but i did have an idea about having because we have a lot of students in town that go to uh, college in the city and i was thinking that maybe one of the missions could be helping build a bus to help get them all to school easier like they can all carpool. It was just a thought. <laughs> My potatoes are ready. Just in time to grill them. Yay. Nice. And we have those trees planted. So I'm going to use build mode to make a grill. We are just going to put one down here. Oh, that's not a grill. Just put one here. And you guys sort of seen the cook menu before, but we can actually make it now and start using it. So the grill is going to need some fuel. So I have charcoal, thankfully, so I can just place the charcoal down there. And you can see it kind of fills up with the charcoal. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get grab some potato. One in there, one in there. And uh, I'm going to keep the lid open. Start cooking. And as you guys can see, the charcoal kind of goes red hot and they do start cooking. Oh, you can yeah. actually just look at them if my character is not in the in the front of it and she's like nope <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stand in front thankfully I have enough charcoal there we go we got grilled potato let's just put them away thanks very much and leave this menu and that's what I meant it's a bit broken so it just it just, it just keeps on cooking. But yeah, now we have grilled what potato. Oh, ah. can you burn your food if you forget about it, Rainy? Yeah, you can you can actually burn your food if you just leave it on the grill. I mean, I can hopefully show that to you guys if the grill grill is not broken. Is it just burning my charcoal? 
Please stop doing that. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll just we'll just put more potatoes on there. There we go. All the potatoes. And I'm just gonna leave them. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, if you're not careful. And that's going to be one of the upgrades you can get. So the, the starter barbecue or the starter grill doesn't, like, it just it just cooks your food and you can burn it. But if you get an upgraded one, you can then have more slots on it and it will also kind of auto shut down if, when it's cooked. So you don't burn them. So it's finished cooking. And I, I just leave it there. Please burn. <laughs> there we go. It burnt. Yay, it's charcoal now. <laughs> so what happens if you try to like, I don't know, put a rock on the grill? It'll just, just turn into charcoal, I believe. Look at those beautiful rocks. It's cooking it. It's cooking it. And finish cooking. You, you could have some... not. <laughs> it just turns into charcoal. At the moment, because it's not fully working, it just turns into charcoal. But, um, yeah, if you put any non-food item, it'll just turn into ash or charcoal, depending on what it is. But most likely it will turn into ash that you can't even use for anything. <laughs> no, you cannot eat a potato like an apple. <laughs> And uh, yeah, before, let me quickly have a look at our list. Let's see if I've covered, covered everything. And then um, if I have covered everything, it's time to talk about those two new characters that I told you guys about. Whoa. So just to show you guys the town again, we have Gabe's barn over here where your farm is. So that's where your farm would be. And that's pretty much the way that goes down to Gabe's. And then the bridge oh. that connects to the rest of the town. And then over on the left side, we have Heroes, he Tech Hero Shop. And then we have Sarko's uh, Oak Shop, um, the Oak Tree Groceries. And then next to it is the park, at least for now. All right, I'm going to restart this so we have a little nice menu. Background sort of situation. And let's talk about our new characters. First of all, I hope you guys enjoyed that little demo of everything that we worked on in the past few weeks. It's been uh, quite hectic making all of it work, lots of crunch, um, but it's it's fun at the end of the day because we're building a world that is immersive and new and, um, you know, we're bringing so many new mechanics to this genre, I think, that people are going to find interesting and people are going to find new. It's going to be a breath of fresh air into this genre. So we are going to introduce to you guys a character that has actually already been talk talked about and we have completely changed, well not completely, but we've changed the way she looks um, and I wanted to show it to you guys. Right, everybody say hi to the Aww. new design for Lucy. Lucy She's is... so cute. Yeah, Lucy is Gabriel's uh, daughter and uh yeah she's a photographer so uh she is 19. you can you can uh, she's marry kind her. Of, yes <laughs> she is she is romanceable um she is an avid photographer uh she is mildly autistic but again we don't want that to make the only interesting thing about her character so they're we're gonna try to we're working really hard on the writing side to make sure that she gets the attention that she deserves. We don't want her to become stereotyped or pigeonholed or anything like that. So um, if you notice, she is not quite looking at the camera. Uh, uh, Kyrie did an excellent job on that. Um, eye contact makes her kind of uncomfortable. It's a little bit too much for her. So she's trained herself to look kind of at you, but not directly in your eyes. Um, so all of her portraits are going to reflect that. And her clothing is nice and soft. Oh yeah, so if you guys didn't see the uh, update from Kickstarter, we've started using Nuclino. It is a living game design document, or a GDD. Um, it's a really cool little system that lets us put all of 
everything that we're using to design the game into one accessible place. So that includes art, stories, backgrounds, um, that damn uh, smile, am I ideas, right? Ideas, things like that. So, <laughs> among uh, other than Lucy, there was another character that was quite uh, popular during our streams, and it was Sebastian. And if you guys have played Persona Five, it's my homage to my favorite character Yusuke in that game and um, basically based them off him um, but uh, we asked Kairi to do a quick and dirty sketch of him so you guys can at least see what we are planning for for him and this is this is Sebastian he works at the coffee shop in town he works at the cafe and he um, actually you go ahead fam uh, characters are your specialty Okay, I love the way that he looks. The he's very different from the original model. He's also um he's kind of lazy. Not lazy. He's distracted. And so clothing's not really a priority for him. So like he wears sweatpants you and like you know, the 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 rolled up sleeves and he's a poet. Um he uh works at the cafe in town. But his mother owns the cafe and she can't quite operate it anymore. So he's kind of trying to step up, kind of take over. He's trying to make it more of a viable business. He's introducing coffee. 